Uh oh, going on video. Why I say that? Usually, I take pictures, and I always do. I'm I'm like the social media models. I find the perfect angles when I take the pictures of my grass, so you guys don't see burn spots or crazy ball spots that just won't grow. So now I'm on video. I can't fake the funk. But anyway, y'all know, grass is grass. Uh, as it relates to the striper. This is the best angle to see stripes here. Uh, and once I do my other cut that way, then typically I take my pictures from here. These are my uh, Instagram grass pictures. But these are the best angles because you get the maximum amount of sunlight. And again, sunlight is a part of the process of seeing the stripes. It's an optical illusion as the blades lay. One lays one way and the other lays the other way and that produces the stripe the way you see the light. So. Think of this as a pass this way and me bending my fingers as far back as I can to pass that way. And that's effectively what you're doing. And the light is going to hit differently. Uh, and that's how you see a stripe. So, um, from what I see, and this is pretty much normal. Just when I, before, this is my first time using this DIY striper, this broom behind the mower deck. And this looks relatively normal. Uh, is it starting to get a little warmer? Grass is starting to get a little yellow. It's not as thick and lush green as usual, but nonetheless, my patterns and my stripes and my reflection of my light, this is relatively normal. Now, what I will say, two things. One, my personal preference. I've said it in the other two videos. I think I want to try to put spacers in and lower the depth or height whichever way I want to lower that broom so it's effectively pushing the blade over the blades of grass over a little harder I want to try that before I say ah uh, I don't really like this that's one thing so I think my stripes might get deeper if the blades lean a little harder and alternating patterns the second thing this is my normal amount of grass clippings and actually, this is more than normal because this time of year, typically I'm every three to four days cutting my grass. Because I was trying this and because I've been busy at work, I purposely let the grass get longer than normal. So, and I've started my sprinkler system. The sprinkler, I ran it yesterday at five o'clock and it came on this morning at four o'clock. Uh, so the grass is slightly wet. Uh probably five to six days worth of grass when I'm typically on a three to four day cutting cadence and no clumps. That's why I bring up how much glass, grass clippings. At this setting, with it being about an inch below the deck, no clumps. This is the biggest part of my yard. That's the blow off clippings. And what I'll do is just back my mower up and push it all to that side towards the neighbor house don't tell anybody but no clumps of grass this is normal that is normal in front of the broom yeah there's build up there maybe over time you know i've done it for two years i've used it for two years and it starts to clump up maybe Maybe I get my wish and I do find a way to lower that uh, broom head, those broom heads with spacers, and maybe it begins to clump then. But for right now, that's normal, uh, which is a positive. It's not creating clumps. The striping is normal, which is, I'll say, nil. It's not really impressing me with my striping. Um, but still inconclusive not a fail not an absolute win and agree again my grass is trained this way i cut the same pattern year after year after year after year um with only human error variances but my grass is trained this way so maybe it won't blow my mind maybe you're just starting out trying to consider your stripes and you try this and it actually uh shows you great results the first time Again, I'm not going to say it's a win for me, and I'm not going to say it's a fail at all. So, uh, next video or more pictures once I lower it at least by an inch and see what the results are then. We'll see.